man, this clinic remodeling is coming along great. Yeah, it looks so good, I might actually tell my friends I work here. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, wait till you hear my new sound system. It's so powerful, Ray Charles will be able to hear it. Marion, Ray Charles is blind, not deaf. Yeah, but he lives in Georgia. <laughs> I knew that remix was hot, but damn. <laughs> Easy, Marion. The wiring's not finished. Yeah, we noticed. Do I need to remind you that our grand opening is this Saturday night? Yeah, we invited a lot of potential clients. We had the L.A. Lakers coming. Have you forgot about the deadline? Nope, and we'll work right through it if we have to. <laughs> Look, you don't have to take up any problems with my boss, Sam. You take it up with Sam. And get chewed up and spit out like a hairy guy in a shark tank? Uh-uh. <laughs> Good morning, Tonya. Good morning, and thanks for returning the briefcase I lent you. I've been to 50 ad agencies trying to get them to produce my motivational tape. Can you believe that? 50 appointments, 51 doors slammed in my face. 51? Somebody did it twice. <laughs> and they keep saying the same thing. You're not special enough. You don't stand out. How are you going to be six feet tall and not stand out? Get busy, Sam's on the way up. Man, who is this Sam guy? I don't know, but whoever he is, he's getting a piece of Marion Hill. Hi, I'm Sam. Oh, and if she likes seconds. <laughs> Now, either you make that deadline or I'll make your contractor's license disappear faster than MC Hammer's bank account. <laughs> the delay is not my fault. Someone in your office keeps asking for changes. The lighting's too bright, the wallpaper's wrong, the new carpet smells carpety. <laughs> but what kind of petty person would complain about all that? <laughs> I made a couple of calls. A couple? I have never had to put call blocking on my pager before. Look, I'm sorry I came on so strong, but I still have the same deadline. Can't we talk about it? I guess I don't mind talking. A little. Thanks. Well, the important thing is that we keep our opening date so we can let the world know that this is a place of class. Is this? This is Tonya's new power image. What does it say to you? I don't know, but I can see that Tonya has a quarter in her pocket. Uh, heads. 1979. Sam, can I talk to you in my office? You gotta admit, my new look is eye-catching. Yes, if my eyes belong to a vice cop. <laughs> well, maybe this isn't right. Well, come on, back to the drawing board. At least I know where my damn quarter is. <laughs> It'll be tight, but I think we'll be able to make your deadline. Mm. But in the meantime, I'll see you tonight. No doubt. <laughs> Did you just make a date with her? No, she just made a date with me. Hitting on people you work with. You're acting like you're in the military. <laughs> She's got a point, Mary. Look, it's very unprofessional. You'd never see me going out with her. <laughs> True, she is a sighted woman. <laughs> Mary, look, all we're saying Either is what... Either go take that off or call me from the back cave. <laughs> Sam got us the leather chairs and better carpet and the original artwork we can never afford. Look, I don't know what you did on that date, but go to a bank and do it. All we did was go to dinner. Look, I'll admit it, I was wrong. Dating Sam was the best idea you ever had. You don't even chew your pride before you swallow it, do you? Look, I'm very proud of my ability to flip-flop. You know, I can change colors faster than Madonna's boyfriends. <laughs> Look, Sam is nice and all, but I don't think I'm going to ask her out again. What? You can't do that. 
I didn't have fun. I'm just not feeling. You're a man. Since when do feelings have anything to do with a relationship? <laughs> I can't do that to Sam. Come on. Oh, what? So you've never gone out with a woman and had ulterior motives? No. Okay, once I dated a girl whose father owned a Ferrari dealership, but I gave the car back. You know, as soon as the lease was up. <laughs> Come on, don't be so hard on the lady. Sam was nice, but she drove me nuts. All she did was talk about work nonstop. It was boring. I could have gone out with you. Okay, you guys, take two. Tonya's new power image. <laughs> Tonya, what are you doing? You look like you're smuggling footballs. I'm taking my PR shots today, and I needed something that was going to come across in the photo, and I needed it fast. <laughs> so you mugged the highway crew and stole some road cones? All exercise gurus have a gimmick. Yeah, and I got to compete. Oh, Tonya, you were already sufficiently endowed. I know. And thanks for looking. <laughs> but this is just to get my foot in the door. You can't even see your feet. <laughs> Once I'm in, I'll let my talents take over. Besides, Richard Simmons ain't got a pair of these. First of all, he might. And second of all, you need to be yourself, because that isn't going to work. Oh, boys, boys. <laughs> Looks like it's working to me. All I'm saying is give Sam another chance when she comes to check on her workers. Look, it's always best to be honest with women. But they wear makeup. That's not honest. <laughs> Look, as soon as Sam gets here, I'm going to tell her it's over. Now, quit bothering me. My friends Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant from the L.A. Lakers are on their way to check out our new look. You gotta like a take charge woman like Sam. <laughs> you gotta. Sam, there's something we gotta discuss. Before I forget, one of my designers gave me a Navajo prayer rug that would be perfect in your office. Really? I could never afford one of those. So, what were you gonna say? Pick you up tonight around seven? <laughs> yes! <laughs> this carpet smells like clover! <laughs> So, seven it is. I really like doing favors for you. <laughs> Look, I know you feel a little dirty right now, but it gets easier with practice. Yo, yo Mary, what's up, baby? Uh, yo. Did you tell your people to come check out the clinic? Are you still a ladies' man? All right. Yo, it'll be here this Saturday for the grand opening. Thanks, I appreciate no that. Doubt. No right. doubt. Go ahead. No doubt. No doubt. Hi, Derek. <laughs> I don't believe we've met. Yes, we have. At Marion's birthday party. Oh, Tonya. Hey, girl. <laughs> Tonya, this is a business meeting. I mean business. <laughs> Hey. hey, you're Kobe Bryant. Hey, is, is that a bungee jumper? <laughs> I guess not. Um, I'm Tiffany. Nice to meet you. Yo, Kobe, don't blink. You'll be in the evening gown. <laughs> Please don't tell me you have a boyfriend. Well, I did, but the delivery company transferred Henry to Atlanta. <laughs> and my packages are long overdue. <laughs> Yo, we got course side seats to the game tomorrow night, man. You guys should come. Especially you. Oh, I'm there, baby. Me too. Count me in. Cool. Why don't you give me a call? Marion has my phone, nipple. <laughs> Number. Number, right. Number. Yo, peace, man. We out. All right. All right, so I'll get y'all later. This is the ball. Now, I get to advertise my motivational business at the game and get to motivate Derek after the game. <laughs> These bad boys are working overtime. They working overtime. <laughs> so I said, are the 
you pay the disputed charges or I organize a little wrecking ball party. You said that to your father? <laughs> he loved it. He's the one who taught me to be tough. Left, right, boom. <laughs> you must really love your work if you could talk about it for hours. And hours. And hours. Sorry. I want to hear all about your football days. Well, when I first went to football camp, Howie Long walks over. Howie Long? I redid his bathroom. What a nightmare. Old pipes, outdated couplings. You haven't touched your lobster. Well, I didn't want lobster, but you ordered it before I could say anything. <laughs> I've also taken care of dessert. Uh. It's at my place. Wait, wait, Sam. I'm about to say something to you that I've never said to a woman before. We need to talk first. <laughs> okay, you did dinner, and then? And then I broke up with her. What? How could you be in a sensitive moment like that and not think about me? Don't worry, she took it well. My chairs! My artwork! Where all the work is? Sam gave him a bottle of champagne and told him to take the day off. <laughs> well, we'd better add something to our grand opening invitations. P.S. Bring your own clinic! <laughs> This place looks like O.J. Simpson's house. What's up? Yo, what up? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Oh. I'm fine. Yo, the other day when we came by, we forgot to give you guys these forum club passes. Oh, thank you, Derek. I already have two passes. Yo, Derek. Yo, D. Derek. 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 Tell the Lakers we might have to postpone the tour of the clinic. I'm sorry, man, but your grand opening is the only time we can do it. Well, they can still see the place if it's not finished, can't they? Uh, nope. Ambiance is very important to us, dog. <laughs> well, we are, man. Peace. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> man, I think I made a big mistake with Sam. I blew the deadline and took the clinic down with me. What am I telling you for? You probably feel as bad as I do. Stanton. Oh, I thought my men took all your furniture. Well, that combination lock I put on that door was the best dollar ninety-five I've ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I'm glad you could come. Look, I just want to say that despite what happened between you and Marion, I still think you're great. In fact, I got you these. Well, they pale next to your beauty. <laughs> Look, I just want to apologize if Marion hurt you, but maybe we could talk about it. Say, over drinks. <laughs> um, I think I see what's going on. You do? And what would that be? Marion feels bad about what he did, and he's using you to try to win me back. That's totally ridiculous. I think it's kind of sweet. But you got me. <laughs> Let's see the whole show. Cyrano. Okay, well, um, you've already gotten the flowers, and he wrote you a poem. I'll fax it to you. Nope. Let's hear it now. <laughs> ah, you are a forceful one, aren't you? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> this is called My Beautiful Sam by Marion Hill. <laughs> I put on my hat, and your face I see. As a great man once said, you down with OPP? <laughs> I roll up my pant leg with you on my mind, your lips, your eyes. Damn, baby, you fine. <laughs> <laughs> But it did rhyme. Well, you know, he only pushed you away because of your strength. I get that all the time. So it's settled. You two crazy kids get back together. Listen, he'll be sending you an invitation for tomorrow night. Thank you, Max. Sorry I saw through your little game. Well, I'll do anything for a friend. Luckily, I talked him out of his silly plan to have me dress up as Cupid. 